Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I um, just got back actually last night from the great homeschool convention in California and so um, I have a bunch of things that I picked up while I was there and before I let my children get into them I wanted to show you while they were still somewhat organized and put together. So today is a um, homeschool convention haul and things that I found that were really interesting and fun. So stick around if you're interested. If not, see you later. Have a great day. <laughs> all right. So um, in a few weeks, once I have all of my curriculum here, I will be sharing what um, all we're going to be doing for our curriculum this year. But um, I picked up some things to go along with it. And um, so I'm just going to share what I got. And then I'll do a whole video on our curriculum in a few weeks when everything arrives and everything's in order. I still have in the process of gathering, and so my house is a little bit of a disaster, as is my shelves and things. Um, so anyways, <clears throat> one of the things that we're going to be doing this year is we're going to be doing American history. You, if you've seen my channel, you've seen that we are um, likely going to be doing Amer um, American history with My Father's World, but we're going to be adding in some other things and making it our own. So um, at the convention, I stopped by the Beautiful Feet um, Bought a booth and picked up some books um, that were cheaper to buy through the booth than through um, the through Amazon or anything else like that, and ones that I was having a hard time finding used. So um, I also I picked up Jamestown and The Winter at Valley Forge. I also picked up their um, biography set, the American biography set. All of these are about the American um, people that they have written. So. Um, and that they include, and they're really hard, some of them, to find. So what comes in this pack um, of books was Columbus, Abraham Lincoln, Buffalo Bill, Pocahontas, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, and Leaf the Lucky. So we will be using these, and um, we'll see how, how they are. I've heard really great things, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, another area in the convention hall that we stopped by was this paper, um, I think it's Miller's paper and pads, and they had a lot of, um, like, traditional um, activity books and things like that, but they also just had paper goods, and um, one of the things they had were these little, um, little uh, paperback blank notebooks, so I got one for each of the kids so that they could do with it whatever they want. If it's just a little drawing or a nature notebook or whatever, um, I just thought they were fun. I also bought these hardbound books. I got four of them. For some reason, I just felt like getting four. Um, so that they can publish their own book. Um, we just published a book um, with the kids on um, one child did reptiles and amphibians, and the other one did ballerinas. And it would have been cool to have a book like this. So. I don't know what we'll use them for, but I just thought they were really neat, and they were a good price. And then lastly, what I did was they had these pads of paper. So they have the, like, sheet so that you can just tear one off. So this was their, I think, their second grade line. So it still has that perforated line. Um, I'm still working with my children on um, my oldest. Uh, he's a boy, and so he still needs the lines, and I think it's going to help be helpful. So but it's smaller, so I'm getting him closer and closer to that wide, wide paper, wide rule. And then I also got the third grade um, paper just so that we had it on hand. This one goes up and down, and um, I think he'll be there eventually this year. And then I also bought the kindergarten um, lines one as well, just um, since my daughter is going to be doing kindergarten. She doesn't need, she needs more space. She's, her handwriting is very limited, as she is kind of young, so I'm not pushing her in that. Um, Sorry for my reach. And the jiggle. <laughs> One of the other things that I did was I stopped by an Usborne booth. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know that I um, was an Usborne consultant for a little while. And um, I loved it, and I still love their books. I just didn't have time for um, that in my current season. So I stopped by to pick up some books. And um, some of the books that I bought main reason I stopped by were to look for some readers that my um, oldest could do on his own. So um, this is the um, 
Osborne Beginners series. Um, this is a nonfiction series, but it's written for younger children. He, as far as knowledge goes, is above these books, but as far as reading goes, um, he's right, he should be right here. So, um, which is why I bought him this one, and we're going to be learning about ocean this and coming up soon. Um, and then I bought some Read with Usborne books. I haven't read these yet. They're um, new since I um, stopped selling, but they looked really good. So, um, this one is the level four, and it's a chapter book, and it's Robin Hood. A retold story and then I got some um, I got one about penguins uh, a level one of on the farm under the ground and bears um, my daughter is um, will be will be able to read some of these pretty soon too so um, I just wanted to get some readers for them um, that they would enjoy um, that weren't just the typical once. And then, um, last but not least, I got him this fighter pilot um, book. This is going to be a reward book that he receives. Um, he's really into uh, military aircrafts right now, and so I bought this as a um, he can earn it book um, and for doing a good job. Motivation. <laughs> and then last, lastly, I got this um, very first nursery rhymes my um, youngest really likes music, and I'm trying to gather some things that he can do or keep him occupied while we're doing school. So this is one that I'm going to put in his bin for school time. He'll only get to use it during that time. All right, next up, um, one of the speakers that I saw um, who had a large impact on me this weekend was Colleen Kessler. Um, if you haven't heard her, she um, is a mom of gifted children with some special needs, and so she spoke about giftedness and um, anxiety. Those were the two that I went to, and um, but she's also written some really cool and interesting books about um, nature and science for kids, so I bought some of those as well, and so for um, my oldest, I got him this um, electricity and magnetism book, and it has 20 exciting hands-on activities. And she said, all you have to do is get a um, like cheap flashlight and take it apart. And you have all the supplies you need to do all these activities. Um, and he mostly, it's written so that kids about second, third grade and up can do it on their own. I'll have to help with some of the reading portion. But um, he'll really like this. So this will be kind of like a um, science do-your-own-studies time. And then I also bought this Raising Creative Kids book from her. Um, there's just prompts for children to do cool things. So um, there's just different prompts and activities to get kids thinking and um, activities to do when you're saying, thinking, hmm, what do I do with my kids today? Um, or if they're saying I'm bored, give them some ideas to um, encourage play. So I'm really excited to look at this and get into that. Um, I'll share more later as I um, process everything, but one of the things that really struck me is the amount of play that we should be doing. So um, that's going to be one area that we um, focus on this year and really make work. Anyways, one thing that I found and I fell in love with, but um, my husband and I uh, had a budget going into the um, convention, and this was exceeded our budget. Um, however... It's something that we'll put on our wish list and maybe encourage grandparents to purchase for um, birthdays or Christmas that's coming up. Um, but we do already have a um, little microscope. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown it on my Instagram account yet or not. But um, it's a microscope that is digital and you um, put it over and you connect it to your computer and it shows it up on your screen of your tablet or your computer. Well... I saw an even better one <laughs> at the convention, and it was really, really cool. And this woman who was there from um, Southern Science Supply, um, this is the logo right here, um, and the website is southernsciencesupply.com. She has um, created some different zoom lenses that go with these microscopes that are handheld so that kids can, like, take them everywhere. Um, they're still connected with a um, USB port, port um, to your computer. There's also a Wi-Fi one, but that one's a little expensive. But 
Then she has all kinds of um, specimens that you can purchase from her and specimen kits. So since we already have our microscope, even though it's not as good as the one that I really, really, really want, um, I decided to try one of her specimen kits. It, um, so these are the kits that she offers. You can check them out on the website. But the one that I purchased um, is this oceans one because, like I said earlier, we're going to be studying oceans. Um, and it comes with all these supplies of um, little, um, which would like shells and things that you could um, examine. Comes with a little card game and then a teacher's manual activity book type thing right here so that you can teach about what you would see. And then because um, it's summertime, we're going to be going to the beach. And <clears throat> so I purchased some other, some uh, water sample living sample specimen like, um, oh, slide. Sorry, my brain is like fried. But it's a slide that you can put the water on and from her as well. And so we'll collect just a water sample and see if we can see things with our, our microscope, even though it's not as good. Um, and just do some different things with that. So there's all different kinds. She has one about the owl pellets. My kids are a little young for that one. But then she has animal, um, what animals wear an insects one. You can also just buy a bunch of specimens from her. Um, one about spices. There's one over here about like um, being a CIA detective and using microscopes to see fingerprints and things. This is um, a vocabulary based one for like preschoolers that talks about um, like textures like pokey, smooth, rough, different things like that. And then this one here is um, traveling seeds seeds that move around um, and move. So, and then she also has one about living things. So when you get to um, those kinds of things. Anyways, <clears throat> this lady who was there, super nice, um, and was very helpful and very informative. And she um, tests a bunch of microscopes out and just does the best ones that she comes across. So we will be purchasing one eventually, um, whether we have to save for it or grandparents help purchase it for a birthday or whatever. But my oldest, who's the science kid, will really enjoy that. So um, anyways, I wanted to share it with you. I'll probably do an <clears throat> when, it's, when I have the kit and the things that I purchased from her, I'll um, make sure and show you as well because they're really neat. Um, if you don't believe that they're Christian-based, but like with any science that you have to modify for your own needs. Um, all right, so the next thing that I found, um, I actually learned about right before I went to convention because the um, creator of this program found me on Instagram and liked my Instagram account, and that made me, whenever someone does, I usually look at who they are. And um, so I looked into it and uh, discovered these really, really cool um readers. And so the company's name is Dash Into Reading. And so what I purchased um, was a set of 10 readers. I'm going to take them out of here just so there's no glare. Sorry for the noise. Um, and they're really cute readers that aren't Bob books. <laughs> um, my daughter is at, in level one of all about reading and she is doing great but needs some extra things to do and so um this company has created this um mother daughter team it's, it appears to be um has created this these readers and so they have books look like this they're um really nice hard cover um and the first page has like a typical introduction page. And then the next page has a study guide. And so how the program works is you go through the phonics lesson, phonics practice with your child. Um, they were saying four, about four times. Oh, five times. That's why this chart's here. Um, and then once you've done the fifth time, they should be ready to read this book. So, essentially what they're saying is with their readers, um, you can teach your children to read, at least the basics. Um, 
and the basic concepts and talking about blending and as, <clears throat> as well. So um, inside the books look like this. They're really cute and they all have a storyline. They're not just like Bob sat on Sam. Sam sat on Matt, I think is what the Bob books are. And they really don't have a story, those Bob books. Even though I do like them, they're good practice. But she's my daughter is needing something more. And so these books um, looked really cute and right up her alley. Each of the books also has some act activity packs that you can buy um, as well that have like paper dolls and things like that. Um, but I just decided to purchase these. And then if I decide to get some of the sets, um, I will. But, um, Amelia and her mom were super, super nice. They, um, were excited to be at the convention and, um, it was just nice to speak with them and talk to them. So there are 10 books in the collection right now. I believe they're coming out with more. It looks like that. And, um, they're, I think coming out with like a, a whole like curriculum kit from what I saw on their Instagram account, but you'd have to go kind of look around and see. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to look into them, but these readers are really, really cute and really nice. So they go really well with where my daughter is to just do the practice. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do the lessons with her just because we're already chugging along with that, but we might, we might do that. So, um, I will be sure to review them once I really get into them, but I wanted to show you the books because they're really, really cute. I think I even have a paper doll that I can show you as well. Oh, this poor bag got a little beat up. Oh yeah, so here's the paper dolls. Kit. I was never into paper dolls. I'm not sure if my daughter will be, but um, they're really, really cute, so maybe she will. So that's how that looks as well. So anyways, I um, just wanted to show you those. And then I think my last thing, the last place I went, um, even though there was a lot that I was wanting to purchase, <laughs> but <clears throat> I was trying to stay within my, within my budget, um, was I went to the Rainbow Resources booth. And Rainbow Resources at the home con they have everything that you need, so they sell all that reading. They sell most of the workbooks that some of the, even the curriculum companies didn't have on hand. They had there, so I was able to buy some stuff like that um, and get all my shopping done and gather almost everything um, while I was there. I have a few things that I had to order and that are coming in the mail, but that was really good neat. <clears throat> One of the things that I purchased for my two-year-old and my other children will be using as well are these Water Wow tablets. They were the same price that they are on Amazon, so I bought them now just because they were there. Um, I also purchased, um, with our history this year, we're going to be doing, um, this is what we're going to be doing as like an artistic activity. My son's getting really into drawing, and so we are going to do these draw right now that all go along with our, our, the history that we're going to be doing. Um, so we're going to do those. Um, I also purchased this Lesson in Responsibility for Boys. This is hard to find on Amazon, but they had it there. Um, and it's a book that my son and my husband are going to go through together. That's going to be their study time. And it has different tasks and ideas and things um, to go, just to learn how to be responsible. Um, so they're going to do this together. <clears throat> and then I found, oh, and then, um, our Bible this year through um, My Father's World <laughs> Adventures is all about the names of Jesus, but I've always wanted to study the names of God um, personally, and so um, I found this book, and it was really neat. It was written um, to children, but um, there's activities you can do, and um, I'm always looking for something a little bit more to do with the kids, so I'll probably add this to our morning basket um, as well. So, and then, let's see. For my daughter and I, when my husband is working with my oldest son, we are going to be doing this fun Bible studies for mothers and daughters. Um, and <clears throat> they're very simple. They're just talking about like, 
getting to know God's Word and getting to know the Bible and getting to know ourself as a child of God. And um, so <clears throat> I'm going to do this with her. Just I think what we're going to do is have a time once a week where um, I work with her and my husband works with him, my oldest, and that's what um, they'll do as well. And then <clears throat> the very last thing that I purchased is the language lessons for today from My Father's World um, through Rainbow <laughs> Resources because My Father's World didn't have any other supplies there. <clears throat> um, and this will be our language arts that we are part of our language arts curriculum as well. So anyways, that is everything that I purchased. There was a lot of things that looked really cool that I wanted to purchase, but I didn't because I had a budget and I needed to stay within that. So anyways, I um, thank you for sticking around and sorry for some of the interruptions. And I um, hope you had a have a great day. I will be seeing you soon.